this is an issue that many developers have come to me for help in the past two weeks or so. The situation is that they have upgraded their ESLint NPM packages to the latest versions as of January 27th of 2025. And by the way, ESLint works with TypeScript linting as well, in case you don't already know. They converted their old ESLint.json configuration file, one of these, which is no longer allowed, to an ESLint.config.mjs file, or um, T MTS file if they're using TypeScript. The M in this case means that we are using Node.js module import paradigm to import files or modules as opposed to the older common JS paradigm, which uses the required syntax to do imports. Now, the latest versions of ESLint will not allow you to use the ESLint RC naming convention for configuration any, uh, anymore. Now, going back to the module syntax, the way we specify module instead of common JS is that in package.json, we specified the type of module on line five there to be module for importing, or you can also specify that in the index.html file uh, on line 10 as an attribute. And then they set up their configuration for linting. And then they run the npm lint command. In this case, I've set up, I've set it up like this. They fix all of the linting errors and all of the um, upgrade errors. And then they run linting, linting again, and then they are getting this warning in the console. Warning React version not specified in ESLint plugin React settings. Well, that's strange because we specified React versions here as to detect which in the documentation is like this verbatim right? And then they try to do uh, hard coding, like for example, 19.0.0, that still won't work. And then they tried the various AI tools like Copilot and what have you, and it doesn't know what to do, or it tells them the wrong thing. And um, they're still getting the same error. Now, I think that AI tools like Copilot can be very useful in certain situations. But when it comes to configuration, setting up configuration uh, for this, or for example, for your uh, set up your YAML file for your CI CD pipeline uh, or your GitHub actions, it's not good at doing that. Uh, as of yet, it might be in, in in a few a few months, a few years, but for the time being, it's not good at doing configuration. As a very quick sidebar with regards to AI tools like Copilot, if you were to ask Copilot to help you fetch data in the Vite React server side rendering application, it will help you. However, the code that it, that it generates is full of security holes and open to attacking vectors from the outside. And you can watch more, more about that in this video of mine here. Artificial intelligence indeed. Back to the issue at hand. Now, if you fix everything else that's involved with the upgrade, ESLint upgrade, and you're still getting this error, now, I mentioned that we are using the .mjs file, right? And here, in, on line 32, if you, if you see here, it's only specifying JS and JSX, but we have a .mjs file. 
right? Again, this configuration.rc file is no longer valid, so we have to create this, right? And mo most likely in your code, you have not specified the MJS. So add MJS here. Okay. I've added the whole shebang just to cover uh, TypeScript as well as JavaScript. And of course, if for some strange reason you have to use the old syntax, then um, uh, you're going to add CJS, which is common. JS, right? So now if we, we were to run linting again, the warning goes away. Now here's another thing. Here's another thing that trip developers up. If you're a type of developer that like to add spaces in between um, the comma, that's going to throw an error. I'm sorry, that's going to throw a, the warning as well. See that? And so you have to get rid of that space. And as you can see here in the documentation, there are no spaces in the glob pattern. Okay. Of course, if you're a seasoned developer, you know that already, but just in case uh, there's a new developer out there. And of course, I will put all the links in the description of the video. This app here is a template to help developers set up a useful Vite with React application that goes beyond the basic um, COI command that you run uh, with Vite. I have a video about that template and how to set it up with VS Code and of course a GitHub repository that goes with it. Okay, my dear friends, I certainly hope that helps you out. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It does not cost you anything. Also, give it, give it a thumbs up if you like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.